Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Shar on this lovely weekend. I pray all is well in your neck of the woods. As I come to you today, we are going to be making the nostalgia chocolate chip ice cream here, right? I know, it is ice cream time and I like to get ahead and go ahead on and mix some mixes or make homemade ice cream um, through my own recipe or either a mix and store it away so whoever wants ice cream, they can get to it. Cause let me tell y'all, have you seen the price of ice cream lately? Everything has hiked up and I said she won't be <laughs> buying ice cream. I just go home and make it, all right? So all this is, um, so what this is is the Nostalgia brand. And as you can see, you all, it says it works with the Pioneer Woman ice cream maker. Did you see that? So, so great. clever for them to put that in there. Because I have not seen any of her mixes. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, so all the chocolate chip and was interested in this. It makes two quarts, right? And this is the nutrition fact on the back for those of you who want to know. Hope you can see that. And this is the ingredients. And what I love is that it is, um, they use turmeric extract for the color, isn't that awesome? Okay, and if you can see that really good, that is all you need. Two cups of heavy cream, two cups of milk, and just this mix, and voila, you are done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead on. We have her salt here, okay, the Pioneer Woman salt. You don't have to use her salt. I just like to stick with the brand, but you can use um, Morton salt, any type of salt that is for ice cream that you have on hand, you can use that. Don't necessarily have to use the Pioneer Woman. Okay, and this is her, um, the um, the outer of her machine. Okay, and, and this is what the box looks like for those of you who have never seen the Pioneer Woman ice cream maker. And they still have, they still do, okay, this is the box for those of you who have never seen the Pioneer Woman ice cream maker. They still do have the um, ice cream maker online. And this is a four quart ice cream maker. You can double this recipe, but we're only gonna use one because I have a small family and that is it. But it is a beautiful box and there we go. All right, so what we're gonna use today is the Horizon Organic brand grass-fed. Um, we're going to use the 2% milk fat. You can do a lower percentage of milk fat. You can do 1% or maybe you can even use um, um, a, um, like oat milk or um, you know those vegan milks if you want to choose one of those choices okay you don't have to use of course the cow milk all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in two I like to shake it real good we're gonna put in two cups of milk that's one cup all right and that's two cups going in and then we have the Horizon Heavy Cream Whipping Cream. Now, it's two cups of the Heavy Cream Whipping Cream as well. That's one cup. And it might even be this whole entire pint, but I just like to make sure that it's measured, okay? Be very careful, bring it over. All right. And we have one more, which is, I believe, the entire pint. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just like to make sure, you guys. We have just a little bit left in there. All right, get all of that, child. The way groceries are today, honey, you better get every single drop. You understand me? Get in there, drop, drop, drip. <laughs> all righty. Okay, so now we're done with adding the cream and the milk. So now what we're going to do, mommy's gonna get these out of the way. I like to, here we go. I like to add a little vanilla. Why you have the one teaspoon? I found this um, this vanilla I like to use for my ice creams. You know that real fancy vanilla that you use for your bakery? A uh, baked goods, you don't wanna use that too much in your ice cream. Found this at Sam's Club and it was an excellent price and this is perfect for ice cream. So I like to do a little shake up. And just for my sanity, I like to add a little bit of vanilla to my ice cream base, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead on just one well, teaspoon. This is a, yeah. Two of these. Okay. Be one okay. So we're <clears> just gonna get two of these in here because that's a half a half teaspoon. Mm -hmm. It's probably all I need though. Okay, that's it. <laughs> all right. So we've got that. And then the next thing that's gonna go, I like to mix it before it gets in there. Y'all, it already smells good. Oh. 
Let me tell y'all, when you even do vanilla, just vanilla ice cream, oh, it just smells so good. Now we're gonna open one of these and go ahead on and add it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I wanted to start with the mix first before we got the machine together so everything was ready to go. So here we go. This is what it looks like in the inside. You can see there's little chocolate chips. You can probably even add more if you want. So we're gonna go ahead on. Look at that beautiful turmeric color. That turmeric really does make a difference, right? I'm glad that you chose a natural uh, way to color this too. Some more. So we're gonna mix that together. Make sure that gets well incorporated, y'all. Now I could use a blender, but she didn't wanna do all that. So we're just gonna make sure everything gets well incorporated in here. Because if you use a blender, then you'll end up start making your own ice cream. <laughs> but it smells so good, and it does smell like a chocolate chip cookie. All right, don't see many little chocolate chips. I'm not gonna add anything to this today, because other than the vanilla, because we wanna make sure the texture and everything is what it's supposed to be. All right, you all, so this is mixed up pretty good. As you can see, there's some chocolate chips. A lot of them sunk to the bottom, but when you pour it in, um, it's gonna still even out because it's gonna stir it. Okay, so hopefully it distributes the chocolate chips evenly. What I do um, recommend is that you do use a bowl with a pour spout. It makes it more easier to transport the liquid into this frozen container here. All right, so let's get that going. All right, you all, so let's get ready. So we have our container here, and that is it, what it looks like. And we have the rib, that's what I call this, the rib. You wanna make sure that little round bottom goes down and meets that belly button of this container. That's the best way I can put it, just like so, okay? You wanna go ahead on, should I pour this in first? I'm putting this in like this part. Mm -hmm. Okay, now when you see the belly button of the bucket, you wanna make sure you match up the belly button of the container at the bottom to match up with the belly button of the bucket. So now it's wobbly, very important that you put that ice in first. That ice is gonna stabilize that so it can stay straight, stand straight up so that it can go into the motor. So put the ice in first. So we're gonna go ahead on and do that right now. Stay tuned. Okay, also make sure you get your salt ready, okay, you guys? So that is the Pioneer Woman's salt. And we are ready to go. Y'all, and this salt has been lasting me for a very long time. All right, so now let's get over here. We're gonna go ahead on and take some of this ice. Mommy, can you stabilize? Mommy's gonna hold. If you can get help, get help. She's gonna hold that just like, just hold the bucket, yeah. Just to stabilize it. So give it a nice stir before you even put it in there again. Y'all see it was already, look at that. Remember that spout is very helpful. I'm gonna go ahead on and pour that liquid in just like that, okay? Look at those chocolate chips right there. Make sure those get down in there. I even think it's some cookie bits in there. Mommy's helping me out. Thank you, Mommy, for your help. And we want every bit of that chocolate, honey. And it's just a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna let this go. I bought two. We're gonna get the rest of those, Trey. Okay, so now, let's get this ready where we're gonna set the motor. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put that top secure so nothing can get into the ice cream. And let's put the motor on. Make sure there is no gaps. That one goes forward. Push that one on the left forward. And then this one on the right, you push it back. And now, let's start the machine. There we go. I wanna keep this um, out because it is important that throughout the mixing, you want to make sure that you put add more salt to keep the machine cold, okay? So that is what it's looking like so far. And see what we have, it should swell up. All right, so stay tuned. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt just for my sanity. And that's why the top goes on because as you're adding salt throughout the mixing, none of that salt gets into your ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So all you gotta do is run your finger to get any excess salt off the top. Just run your finger. All right. All right, another tip just to keep everything cold, I take a towel 
And I just like to put it just around there like so. Just very lightly, like you're covering it. Do not cover the motor. Child, that will be a problem. So just do it just like that and it helps keep the cold in as well. All right? I'm gonna bring this light closer so y'all can see how it's getting thicker. And the ice is getting lower, but it's getting thicker in there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's bring it closer. Alright you all, as you can hear, the machine is making that noise, so that means it cannot turn no more, y'all. I just want you to see, so when it does that, let's stop that machine, because it's done about enough churning as it can do. Okay, let me turn this off, stay tuned. Alright, we have turned the machine off, and before we even get into that, I'm going to move this saw elf away, because we're not going to need it anymore and put this over there and this is what i'm going to put it in you can leave the ice cream in the container but i like to transport it when it's um easy to remove and let it continue to um firm up in the freezer okay so now that we've turned off the machine it is unplugged as you can see here okay we're going to go ahead on and move this out this one went that way this one went this way. All right, easily take that off. Set that to a side safely. And we're gonna go ahead on. Now, if you were to leave it in a container, I'm gonna show you. This little top is usually for it to go on top when you're putting it, you remove this, put the plastic back on, put this on top, and then put it in the freezer, just like so. But I'm not going to do that today. So what I'm gonna do, remove the top, y'all look how beautiful that ice cream is. Oh my goodness. Now, like I said, you can add more chocolate chip to this because I don't see many chocolate chips in here. So you can add some chunks of chocolate um, or chocolate morsels in here, whatever you decide to do, extra little chocolate chips, extra chocolate chip cookies, whatever you decide to do. But like I said, I just want to show you all what this looked like. It's not the pine or anything, but Y'all, look how thick that ice cream is. It is spicy. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is yumminess. Okay, mom is not in here with me, so I'm gonna go ahead on and remove that. It is creamy. Look at this, you guys. Before I even take it out. Y'all, look at that. That looks wonderful. Okay, so let me remove this and place it in there. So stay tuned. Look how thick that ice cream is. It's so hard because I don't have anyone here to help assist me, but you do see some little, but I'm going to transport it as fast as I can because I want it to stay firm, but just wanted you to see that. All right, you all. So this is what I got from it. Look at that. <laughs> it's so much. I'm going to have to get another container because I want to hurry up and do it before it, free, um, it gets cold. It's melting just a little bit there, but you guys look at the texture of that. If you like soft serve, this is perfect, okay? Hold on one moment. All right, you all, so that is what I have. There's some of the little um, chocolate chips there. This is what it looks like. This is gonna have to go in. And I had to put it in here, you all. Oh my goodness, it did so much. So look how creamy that is. This is perfect for those of you who like soft serve. Um, we like soft serve, but I want it to firm up just a little bit, but this is perfect just like it is right here. Yeah, let me taste it. Oh. Amazing. I'm gonna put the top on this, okay? And then I'm going to put some saran wrap on top of that plastic wrap and then put this in the freezer. Hold on one moment. All right, stay tuned. All right, and we just put a little bit of plastic on top of there, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead on and put this in. And the next time you see me, we will be eating some of this ice. We will, I will scoop it up and let my family taste it, all right? Stay tuned for that. I want to also show you that as I move the bucket, you should not have any the bucket sh at the bottom. I mean, the wood should not be wet at all. As you can see, this kept the unit completely dry at the bottom. And now we go 
save this ice if you can because it does have salt in it if you have um, uh, packages um, if you can put this back into the freezer and save the ice man by all means do so because it does help you with um, you know the ice in the future and just just knock it up against something break it up and use it again okay um, I'm gonna go in remove the ice and then we're gonna clean this all right you won't see me do that though <laughs> okay, I just want to y'all excuse the dog downstairs he's new he's got to get used to his environment so I um, strain the water out from the rest and then what I'm gonna do pour it back in here and we can use that for later and there we go ice for the next round and the um the dark gray stuff the black stuff that's just the ice the mineral set in i mean that's just the salt the mineral set in so that all that is is just salt but you guys we cycled ice for the next ice cream stay tuned and i do put um for ice cream i'm gonna put where my family knows that this is not for you to use because we have it separate so they know when i tie this this is strictly for the ice cream all right Alright you all, she cleans up nicely, so we've already cleaned the bucket. Everything is nice and um, clean here. I cleaned the container. I'm going to put the container back in the um, freezer because I'm going to be making more ice cream, y'all. So that's why I emptied out the ice cream into a container. Now, if you are not making any more ice cream and you're only doing one batch or there's a length time in between, then you can leave your ice cream in this container. That is what this is for. You will put that top on, put this on, and take it to the freezer and let it um, continue to harden. And when you're ready for ice cream, you just take this top, protects it because of holes. Okay, so let me show you. You make sure you want to take this out. This needs to go. Away. So you want to make sure you clean and take that out when you take the ice cream out. Of course, you get all the ice cream out from in between the ribs, okay? And then once you're done, your ice cream's full, depending on how much, whether it's half or an entire container of ice cream, you're going to place this top on just like so. And then you want to just place that because there's a hole there and things can drop in. So this is there for that hole to protect it while it is in your freezer and it is getting um hardened and or if this is just something you want to keep your ice cream in you can go in dig your ice cream out make your scoops and then just go ahead on and put that right back on like so and it continues to stay cold because of course this is going to keep it nice and cold and firm okay if you don't want to use it i say put it in a different container and just go ahead on and just store these items away and keep this in the freezer for the next batch okay so that's what i do Okay, you guys, and that's how I store away um, my ice cream. So this is empty. I did put saran wrap at the bottom. I put the top on for protection so nothing can get in there, and then just put that on. There is no ice cream in there, but this is just to keep everything together, okay? All right. And we got cookie crumbles here, y'all. I'll put that on top just to keep it up. All right, you all, so we are in the evening time, and this is the ice cream. It has set good enough. I have a couple of little chocolate chip cookies here on the side. Josh was going to be our taste tester today, but you won't be seeing him because he just got off of work. Josh, can you hold this while I scoop your ice cream out? Okay, we're going to go down and get the one scoop out, y'all. It is ready to go. Okay, hold on. That's one little scoop. This is cookie dough. So you see the chocolate chips a little bit. All right, you all, looks delicious. And you can either crumble, you can either crumble cookies on top, or I think it's just cute just to set that cookie just like so. Oh, delicious. Look how beautiful that is. And Joshua, you're gonna taste it? Go get a fork, I mean a spoon. And so that's what it looks like, you all. Josh, can you come hit this too? Get a spoon and bring it here. And you can add extra chocolate chips to this if you want and just have the cookie on the side. That's what it looks like. And these cookies came from Trader Joe's, okay? They are the baked ones. All right, Josh, so taste them for us. It's delicious. Joshua says it's delicious. Okay, so let me show you one more thing you can do with this that's fun. Okay, another thing we could do, you have two cookies here. I'm gonna flip them. They 
probably got a little overcooked, but they're still kind of gooey. Joshua, can you help mommy with this? And I'm gonna do one scoop, and you can make a cookie sandwich. I always like showing these. Ice cream cookie sandwich. Okay. Hold on, let me get this. There we go. Just like so. Just top that on top of there. Delicious chocolate chip ice cream with a nice warm gooey, two cook gooey cookies to put it in between. Okay, and there we go. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Making chocolate chip ice cream with nostalgia ice cream mix with the Pioneer Woman ice cream maker. And I do hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoy sharing it with you. Summertime is here, spring and summer, y'all. And it is ice cream time. So make sure you go and get this machine. It is fabulous. I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite um, items from the Pioneer Woman brand. All right. So thank you so much for tuning into Journey with Char. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you and you all can come and check me out and see what I'm doing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a blessed week to come. You all remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. And make sure you pray for our country. Be kind and loving to one another. Y'all, we have got to show more love, all right? We need to pray for our country. Thank you so much. You all be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bon appetit. Bye-bye.